More than half a million people in Connecticut, that is one staggering number, half a million, have filed unemployment claims during the pandemic. We've heard firsthand the frustrations from people still waiting for those benefits and having trouble reaching anyone about them. Well, now the State Department of Labor is starting a contact center to handle claims. Our chief capital reporter, Susan Rapp, is live at the Department of Labor in Wethersfield. And Susan, how will the agency help? Dennis, you're right. I mean, half a million people is so much, and the Department of Labor has certainly been swamped, and the hope is that this new system will certainly help. Right now, pretty much all of the claims or the claims that they handle are either done by phone or online, but the new system will give people a lot more access. An overloaded system handling a record number of claims. While the Department of Labor has hired more staff and has added more phone lines, it's not enough. No business since the, the lockout. Philip Cortina has lost customers. His home decorating business is closed because of the pandemic. For the first time ever, those who are self-employed can get unemployment, but it's been a struggle. They said, we received notification that you've been locked out and we'll get back to you shortly. And they haven't gotten back to us. Many claims can be handled online in an automated system, but some can't. No claim is a cookie cutter. There just isn't a model or a mold for a, a UI claim. The Department of Labor has gotten approval to start a contact center, a more sophisticated high-tech system to handle claims. There's also a text and uh, a chat feature with a live agent. Jeremy Walford was laid off back in March. He ran into problems because his wages were in Connecticut and New York. After seeing our story, the governor's staff reached out, and Jeremy tells us he just got paid. This new contact center won't be up and running until mid-July, but it could help Sharon Payne, who is pretty frustrated. I think I have six, six or seven different numbers. They ring, 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 and some numbers automatically go to a voicemail. So a lot of people would like these frustrations to end, and we're hoping maybe that this new system would be online sooner. But until mid-July, when it's expected to start, the Department of Labor tells us they plan to hire 60 more staff, and that staff will also need to be trained. We are live in Wethersfield, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Oh.